Hello and welcome to GrassyMath.com where math is for everyone. Today we're going to practice for the TSI exam by reviewing how to make uh, numbers from percents. So let's get started. All right, so today we're looking at a problem involving monthly budget. And what we see in the problem is that there's a budget and here's a pie chart for the budget. And it says Jackie's total monthly budget is $2,000. What is the difference between the amounts budgeted for clothing and savings? Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, take a look at clothing and savings. Okay, so we can see that it says here the word difference. That's going to be very important because now I know that I need to know what is the difference. Difference, of course, means to subtract. So I'm going to take that 17.5% from the clothing and I'm going to subtract the 10% from the savings, okay? And when I subtract, of course, I'm gonna get 7.5%. So 17.5 minus 10 is 7.5. So I need to find that 7.5%, but it wants to know the actual amount, okay? What is the actual amount? Not just the percent. So let's take a look at our percentages, okay? To make a percent, uh, you just do fraction equals fraction. For those who enjoy math, this, is, this little pattern is called a proportion. One side is going to be percents. Let me put a little squiggly there so we don't get confused. And one side is going to be numbers. Okay, 100% would be the whole pie, the whole entire pie. And we want to know what would be 7.5% of the pie. And here I see in the word problem that her total budget is $2,000. So if 100% represents the total and that's on the bottom, then 2,000 also has to be on the bottom. And our missing number is going to go right there. Okay, so to, to, uh, to solve this, we're going to cross multiply and divide. So we're going to cross multiply here and we're going to divide by 100 at the end. Okay, so I'm going to set that up. We're going to do 7.5 times 2,000. And on the bottom, we're going to divide by 100. Okay, so what I'm going to do, when you have zeros on the top and the bottom, and it's pure multiplication, you can cross off some zeros. So that's exactly what I'll do. I'm going to cross off these zeros and these zeros. That way I don't have to divide the 100 at the end. And now what I'm going to do is uh, seven, uh, 20 times 7.5. Okay, so let's multiply these guys. 5 times 0, 0. 5 times 2 is 10. Okay, then we put a 0, cross out the 5. And we put 7 times 0 is 0, and 7 times 2 is 14. We add those up, and we get 1,500. But we had a decimal point, so we have to put, we had one number behind the decimal point, and that's very important. If there's one number behind the decimal point when you multiply by hand, you have to put one number behind the decimal point when you get your solution. Okay, so our total would be 150.0. So the total amount, the total difference for her uh, savings, the final answer, if you will, would be uh, $150. All right. Uh, so today we learned how to change percents into actual numbers using a proportion, okay? Uh, this is a review for the TSI. And what did we do? Well, we subtracted because it said difference. We figured out the difference and then we changed that percent, 7.5%, into an actual amount using cross multiply and divide. Final answer was $150. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to visit the website at www.grossymath.com.